When we have elements with the same electronegativity in a compound, like the O2 here, we can consider the oxidation number, also called the oxidation state, to be zero. So simply put, the oxidation state for O2 is zero. And when you're balancing redox reactions, this is really essential to remember. For free elements, the oxidation state is zero. And examples are things like Fe, Na, O2, O3, even S8. When we have elements in compounds like H2O or SO3, these will have oxidation numbers because we have different elements combined to form the compound. There's a reason that O2 and similar compounds are assigned zero for their oxidation number. These oxidation numbers, we assume that the more electronegative atom in the chemical bond, that will have a stronger attraction on the bonding pair of electrons. Those are the ones between the atoms. But with O2, the atoms are the same. They're both oxygen, so they have the same attraction. And since they have the same attraction, they're going to share the electrons equally. And we really can't say one has an oxidation number that's positive and the other has one that's negative because they're equal. And we consider the oxidation number or oxidation state to be zero. When you have uncombined neutral elements like Na, S, Fe, and so on, they haven't combined yet, so they haven't been oxidized or reduced, and for these we consider the oxidation number to be zero as well. Of course, if you have an ion like copper 2 plus, then you do have an oxidation number, and in this case it would be plus 2. This is Dr. B with the oxidation number or oxidation state for O2, and thanks for watching.